Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, if you had to pick a device, an Android device, to go up against the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which device would you pick? Well, for sure, I'd want to have one that has a Snapdragon 855 Plus processor in it. And to that end, I have chosen the OnePlus 7T. So for the world's first premiere of a Speedtest GX 2.0, Android versus iPhone. Let's see what happens with the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the OnePlus 7T. If you want to find out more, please let me explain. So before we get into the test, I want to mention two things. First of all, before you dive down into the comments after you've watched the video and start asking certain questions, please read the FAQ. And here is a link where you need to go so that you can find the FAQ. Please do read it. And now the second thing is there's going to be a winner to this race and there's going to be a loser. Now, if the iPhone loses or the OnePlus 7T loses, someone's going to be upset and nobody likes a sore loser. So whichever camp you're in and whichever phone wins or lose, please let's actually just respect the result and respect the technology in whichever phone it is. Now, OK, I won't keep you in any more suspense. Let's go and do this. Okay, on the left-hand side, we have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. On the right-hand side, we have the OnePlus 7T. Of course, the Apple A13 Bionic is in the iPhone, and the Snapdragon 855 is in the OnePlus 7T. As I see now, that the ele iPhone 11 has taken the lead, and that was a very quick SQL-like test there by the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and it was much, much slower there on the OnePlus 7T, meaning that the iPhone 11 Pro Max has got a lead of several seconds now over the OnePlus 7T. As we're now into the compression test, will the X no, I was about to say, will the, the storage speed be a difference here? Clearly not. Quite quickly through that storage test. And now into the 16th thread test, even though this is a hexacore processor, that's doing really, really well. But the OnePlus 7T is now into the 16th thread test, but it's not caught up as the iPhone 11 Pro is now into the blur test. Come on, what OnePlus 7T, can it get through? No, it's now into the blur test while the 11 Pro Max is into the infinite uh, scrolling list and is now actually into the smoke test. What's the frame rate going to be there on the smoke test? 30 frames a second as the OnePlus 7T is now into the infinite scrolling list. It will hit the smoke test. We'll be able to see what the frame rate is there as the 11 Pro is now into the Unity test. Clearly has a big lead now over the OnePlus. And there we go, 21 frames a second. So a big difference in frame rate there as now the OnePlus and I looked at that 1 minute and 15.5 seconds I was about to say as the OnePlus 7T goes into that unity test already the iPhone 11 Pro Max has finished the uh, whole thing in 1 minute 15.5 as we wait now for the OnePlus 7T to come round and just finish this test here we go now what's the final time there we see it it is 1 minute 34.5 okay let's break down those scores and see what happened so clearly there, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the overall winner, 1 minute 15.5. The OnePlus 7T came in at 1 minute 34.5, which is a 19 seconds difference. So where did those 19 seconds come from? When we look at the CPU time, we can see 40.0 versus 48.2. So 8.2 seconds there gained by the iPhone 11 over the OnePlus 7T, just in the CPU section. When we get to the mixed CPU, GPU, slightly better result, but still more seconds gained by the one uh, by the uh, iPhone 11 Pro over the OnePlus 7T, 21 versus 25.7. And then when we get into the GPU, 14.5 and 20.5, so again, another clear win by the iPhone 11. So in fact, it won there in all three categories and in all three categories by several seconds. When you add up all those gains that it has over the OnePlus 7T, it wins with 1 minute 15.5. Okay, so there you have it, the iPhone 11 Pro Max 1. And really, Apple has had a lead in a system on a chip design, processor design for several years now, and they are still maintaining that lead. Now, over on the uh, Speedtest G channel, I also have a video testing the iPad Mini 5, which has got the A12 Bionic, against the Samsung Tab S6, which has got the Snapdragon 855. So two uh, tablets, one from uh, Apple, one with Android, and let's see which one wins. So if you want to see that race, go over to the Speedtest G channel. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget the Speedtest G channel that I just mentioned, and I suppose, well, that's it.
I'll see you in the next one.